What is up, guys? We are back, back on YouTube. I got it, moved into my new apartment, so I'm able to start doing this again. And finally, was able to get my first cutting edge ever, which I'm super excited about. I'm not a Mythic Raider, like, hardcore. I don't do the three knights, the multiple characters. I We all just have one character that we raid with, except a couple of them have two. Um, but that's just their preference, and we only raid twice a week. So I'm super excited that I was able to get Cutting Edge. Uh, this is the first time that I've actually been able to get it, and I've actually put in the time to be able to get it before I was pretty casual. So during this video, I'm just going to kind of point out some of the things that we're doing here and some of the differences between Heroic and Mythic and just my reasonings on doing things. First thing I'm going to point out is that whenever anything dies, they spawn the little Gahoonies from Mythic Plus that you guys know about. And if they get to you, they infest, which is what that one over there on the right is the one with the little purple logo on its head. He's targeted on me, so if I let him get near me, he would infest. So that's why I'm running away. So now I'm going to do my orb run. thing with Mythic is you got to do two of them, go at the same time, then dunk at the same time. And it puts those little tentacles in there, whatever you want to call it, the roots that are between the cysts. So if you get hit by them, you get rooted, which is why I save Bladestorm. I don't need it here. Um, but I always save it just in case I do get rooted so I can get out of it real quick and then continue my run And you saw right there. That's the route that I always do just I know it works every time I make no mistakes and That's the way I always do it. So now that we got three orb runs done One on each side every time now we get the phase We're cleaning up all the kahunis that spawn because they spawn every time you kill anything the little tentacles the big dude dark young whatever he's called and then that uh, also the big tentacle that comes out that I can't even think of its name because I was never on him for attacking. And now we're starting phase two. So I have another run again in the second half of phase two. I'm the last person. Uh, you do phase two kind of twice is the best way to describe it. But right now I'm just doing my damage rotation. Um, pretty the standard arm stuff. I have the standard arms talents and the double crushing assault plus the archive of the titans. Um, the best in slot stuff. You guys know that. And now we're doing just the normal fight mechanics. So one of the things with Mythic is they add the Bursting Boils. Uh, they nerfed it when it was originally released. There were three Bursting Boils, now there's only two. So they made it a little easier on the casual people like me to be able to get it. But all you have to do is you have to have two people in range of it. The closest two people will get the Bursting Boil debuff. And if you get two in a row, you get Mind Controlled. So you got to alternate who gets it and make sure that two people don't get the same one or... Um, just don't get two in a row so that's it's a pretty simple mechanic but it just goes along with all the other extra stuff you got to do like the wave that you also have to do and then killing the creeping hoarder in the right spot that way he doesn't put the goo or whatever you want to call it down in the middle of the raid so now you see i saw that boil was taken care of so i just got out of the way of it so wave wouldn't hit us all and now we're going back into the middle to stack because we're about to do our third dunk in which that's a burst phase so you got to kill all these Gahoonies, and then we're going to do the Blood Feast, kill the Blood Feast, uh, whatever that's name is that it spawns, and then burst Gahoon as much as we can. So you see, like, during that whole three dunk phase, we only did 8% of the damage. Right here is where all the damage to Gahoon comes from. So I'm going to pop Sweeping Strikes. I'm going to hit both the targets with Warbreaker. Just do as much damage as I can. See Gahoon's flying down. Um, a lot of the damage that he takes is the big chunks from the wave but then we also do increase damage to him so this is the most important part for doing damage and you get this three times and then one of them just has a hard stop at like 20 or 25 percent or something like that but that's the end phase two and transition into phase three so here we got him 56 percent just doing the same thing again except now i'm being more conscious of where i'm at because i need to save my heroic leap and i need to make sure that i have two charges when i go into my orb run which is going to be the third one for this phase so here we got Wave of Corruption coming up. Just going to get my spread for that. Make sure that I'm not um, within five yards of any of my raid members because then you're going to get the extra stacks, which you never want. And we're going to go in here, make sure everyone's stacking for the Blood Boils so we have those taken care of. And then we're going to stack for Blood Feast. That way we can get that baited in a nice spot right in the middle, just like it was on Rifterson. And we're just going to get the seven people I'm included in this one since I'm going to go do the orb run. And now I'm going to kind of get out of the way because my orb run is coming up, coming up and there's a wave of corruption right there at the same time. So I don't want to be in the middle of everyone when the wave comes off. And I know I have a couple seconds to wait up there, so I just do it down there. That way I can get healed up. 
So now I'm going up again, check the map, make sure everyone's there, and do the same thing, grab the Matrix. I have Bladestorm available, target the one that I always target, and charge through. Didn't get rooted, so I can just charge, charge, heroic leap, take the portal, and then you see that my Warlock's on the other side waiting, but we're gonna wait five more seconds for Blood Feast, and we're just hanging out waiting. Couldn't clear the cyst the way I wanted to, and dunk, and now we go ahead and go in there. So I start taking a lot of damage here, so getting that charge and getting in there real quick is really important. It's also why I take defensive stance right there, that way I'm not taking a lot of damage, as much damage. But now it's the same thing, we're going to kill the Gibbering Horror, kill Gahoon, and then kill the Gahoonies, and Gahoon's going to go down to 20% and stop. And it's a hard stop, you can't get him any lower than that. Um, and the reason for that is just to make it so that you have to do Phase 3. So once he gets to 20%, he goes into collapse where you can't do any damage, so we bait it over to purple, jump over to triangle, wait, go back into defensive stance so I don't take as much damage, help out the healers a little bit, bait it out again, back over to purple, I can't use the portal because I did it for my run, and then everyone's going to stand in darkness. Here we go, collapse ends, wait for it to fall, and then go and pop the pot, we're doing hero, and then use all the damage cooldowns that I have, and we want to make sure that we still have that separation for Wave of Corruption, and then we also have the malignant growths that we have to deal with coming up here. So that's where it starts to get a lot of stuff going on, is you have the malignant growths going on that you gotta avoid, and there's not much room, plus you have the fear that you gotta pay attention to, and the Wave of Corruption coming through. And if you have your melee all stacked up in the same side, that's why you see me on this side, that's not gonna be good for your raid. So I'm over here, all our other melee seem to be on the other side, so I lucked out there. Um, and I'm just doing my normal damage rotation and we're just trying to burn him as much as we can That's why we're arms for this fight is because this is the hardest phase in the fight and arms just does so much more Damage than uh, fury does for the execute phase So that's me just running away five yards for the wave of corruption and just staying in my little slice of pizza for the um, malignant growths so now just still doing the execute rotation, trying to make sure that I'm not near anybody, trying to make sure I'm not in the wave of, or the malignant growths, don't get feared, just doing my stuff, and then you see the boil right there, so I'm like knowing that I'm going to take a little bit more damage, and then right here I messed up, I got, oh wait, no it wasn't here, never mind, it was the next one, the next wave, or malignant growth, I mess up, and I get lost inside it, and I end up dying, but it's alright, because we end up getting the kill. But popping all my cooldowns just to help out the healers a little bit, use my health stone, use my health potion, in defensive stance just so I can live a little bit longer and right here I'm gonna go ahead and soak this one and then I get lost in the sauce over here and just stand right in the middle of the growth so I should have leaped but I didn't and I go down but it's alright he's got three percent left and we end up having enough people in the raid left we end up getting the kill I was super excited uh, couldn't I was just so stoked to finally get a cutting edge I didn't get one in uh, Legion we did, just didn't push hard enough I ended up having real life issues and quit during Agrimar uh, and the rest of the guild got it so I was pretty bummed about that but I'm super excited to be able to be back here making videos for you guys and then also that I even was able to get uh, cutting edge here was just the best way to start BFA off for me I'm super excited and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video